Okay, guys, this is going to be my review of Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Or I think, honestly, it's act it's actually called Raiders of the Lost Ark. The Indiana Jones, this is actually, fun fact, there is there was no tag on, like, Indiana Jones and the, it's just Raiders of the Lost Ark. And I love this film. This film, while it's not my favorite Indiana Jones film, it'll go, that, that title will go to um, Last Crusade. But it's still a great film. That's no disservice to the film. This film is great. And I think, like, I talked about this in my Jaws um, review. But just the way Spielberg is able to just give off just such a just such a great depth of adventure. You know, just get the way he directs. And, you know, is just a great sense of adventure. And I think, like, the iconic theme of, 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 um, of Indiana Jones... Like the bum 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 bum, bum 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 bum, like that that iconic theme. So it's like kind of like that mixture between you know you know John Williams' score for the film and that sense of adventure that Steven Spielberg can give. And I think like having the mystery of the of the arc was definitely really cool. And I think the cast is great. I mean, in, like Harrison Ford, even though he wasn't Spielberg's first pick, you know now you're coming to this point where you can't think of anybody else. In the role for you know Indy, and then you think of that iconic opening, like that just that mission with um the guy who played um Doc Ock, um and just like I remember watching that, and when he gets stabbed, um the uh, the guy's partner was just crazy with the blood, and it was crazy, you know, and it's just like the element of when you see the ball rolling down, you do get that sense of of adventure, and I think like he, Spielberg knows what to add to his film, little details to add to this film to give it that extra suspense. Whether it be a giant thing roll a giant boulder rolling behind you. So gives or it be, you know or it be, you know, the fact that the arc's in the back of the car or that, you know, they're trying to take Mary and I think like this film does not let up its sense of adventure to the very last moment. You know, because like just when you think the film's almost over. They pull you right back in. And I just remember iconic moment after iconic moment. And just these great, you know, character details. The great character details that just make Indy unique. That it's like, yes, it's Harrison Ford. And yes, on the surface, you might think, oh, it's just another Han Solo. But it's really not. These simple details. You know, his hatred for snakes. Him being, you know, part-time teacher. You know, him, you know, and his kind of ask, ah, ah. Adding in history to this film and adding that that um Nazi nineteen forties or nineteen I think it was nineteen thirty nine you know period to it and having you know just a, just this is the the um suspense of also the the stakes being raised with like not only is Indy looking for um the Ark but you know. Nazis are looking for it too in this this kind of adventure of like digging for it and um um the other guy how did I forget his name um and his friend and, and just the cast and his you know Marion and Indy and uh god how do I forget that guy's name you know the guy I'm talking about his um friend his uh the guy who digs up the ark with him he kind of is native of the land but I mean you got the iconic sword swinging the shoot where it's like they can add great kind of sequences, but yet have the comedic sense to it. Which, fun stories, there was actually supposed to be a whole big sword fight, Indy against the sword fight man in, um, in Egypt, but <laughs> Ford had to go poop, so they, they changed that. But I mean, it's, the whole film's great, you know, whether you talk about him being chased um, through the city, or whether you talk about him, you know, having to get out of the, the, the pit, or him, you know, having coming in contact with snakes, or you know, him stealing the ark, and then having the the bag of sand, um, trying to get the same weight, but it doesn't work. Like these stuff become templates for what I think is just the greatest act of action, or not at really action, but adventure franchise, because like. We talk about Star Wars, how, like, almost every scene gets mimicked and mocked and, um, spoofed of. But, like, the scenes in this film, running from a boulder, you know, taking, you know, taking one item and switching it with another that's, that's about the same weight. 
you know, taking the ark and then super, and then digging up the ark, and then I hate snakes, and he's like, that's my pet snake wedgie, you know, and that kind of stuff, it just becomes iconic, and to look back at this film, the effects hold up, just, I think, and it makes it so much better because it's practical, when you see, you know, Dominic, Dominic Toretto's car jumping from one building to another, as great as it might look visually, you can tell that's processed. You know, you you can obviously know because no car is jumping through building to building, but there's just a sense of practicality that makes it work. Mixed with the score, mixed with the fact of the stakes, and um, and the kind of humor that's at, added to the different sequences. Whether you're, you know it's it is you know indie you know having to steal the you know steal the the um what's it called the um the whip from his dead friend and then him getting stuck stuck in the spiders or you know the whole snake stuff um or it's you know you know the fight with um the mechanic the fight with my the mechanic was great like that was one of the most violent things i saw as the kid where, where, where it's like his him like getting knocked down and punched and punched and like for a film that is an hour and 56 minutes this film feels like it never slacks off, and it never has a second to waste. Whether you, you have that, I love the shootout in the bar. I love, um, the lines are great. Like, like just the direction and the storytelling. And like I said, I t- already previously talked about this in this very v- review and other reviews of, of Spielberg films, but just Spielberg's sense of adventure is extremely, extremely present in this film because you watch this film and you see you know, things at, you see our characters in dire times, and it is crazy to think, and, um, and, you know, seeing the chemistry between Marion and Indy, you know, is, is very reminiscent of Leia and Han, but in this case, they're just two archaeologists who had a past relationship who have to, you know, work together for this mission. You know, makes that, that, um, you know, very cool um, throughout the whole time. And so, yeah, I think um, in a nutshell, this film is just brilliant on every way. Um, just iconic sequence lines, characters. Like, like you know so much about Indiana Jones in just this film in general. And then the mystery of the Ark, and I just remember, like, those angels um, swarming around is really... Um, Great and also still iconic, you know, to this day. And just I remember seeing these the, the the Nazis' faces just melt. And some people say that feels outlandish for this type of film, but for me it doesn't. For me it fits this type of film, where it's a it's a it's an adventure film. But 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 when you think of an adventure film, you think of what they're searching for. Can't just be out of the ordinary. And you see, the Ark is not part of the ordinary. And I love. You know, him stealing the other outfits and then him um, getting, like, the cut on his arm and having to get sewed and the bullets and the kind of romance broom between Marion and, 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 and Indy. And obviously, I'm sure on the boat, um, that's probably when um, the kid, oh, Sam, no, oh, that's, that's his Transformers character, damn it. When, they, when, you know, he has, he makes his son, whatever. Um, but yeah, and like the stuff with like the boat and the stuff with him escaping the boat. It just from the very beginning, from just him, his stance, where you see the lagoon in the background, you see his like shadow, and he whips out a gun from, you know, one of the pe- pe- people's arms, one of the other people's um, arms, gun. And just right from that opening sequence, you just learn a lot about, you know, Indy. You learn about his kind of sense of humor, his knowledge, his um, uh, phobia of snakes. But yet you're, it's merely just the opening sequence. And Marcus and uh, the other guy, uh, the Indian guy, um, I forgot his name. God damn it, the Egyptian. Um, or the monkey, or the villain and where he isn't a maniacal villain he's just looking for the well he is because he's nazi but just how the role he plays is he's just looking for the arc for his own 
you know, personal reasons. But yet, you know, Indy's looking for to discover and to learn and to grow. And I can't really think of that much qualms and, and, and criticisms I have for this film. Well, I'm not going to about to say it's a perfect film. No film's perfect. And even in this own series, I think other films are better. Because I think, like, it's not that... Why I think Last Crusade is better than this film is not because this film has anything really that terribly bad. It's simply to say Last Crusade is that damn good. Um, But, yeah, I think stuff with, like, um, the opening and exploring, you know, the city, the underground city, and I love that iconic shot of, of seeing the fellow diggers in the background and the sun setting, and he's just still there digging, and, you know, Mary, Mary getting trapped there, and Indy going there, and, you know, it, with, um, Sola, Sola, I think was his name, God, I just remember that now, you know, or the chase in the city, and the car chase, you know, and, and kind of rescuing that, and escaping, and it, it was just so great, and the, the humor, the great dialogue of Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Or something like that. Um, killing the, the uh, mechanic. Um, or, uh, you know, and saving Mary at the last second from the plane. And, and, and kind of having the nuke and then having to surrender. I mean, it was great stuff. I could go on and on about talking this iconic adventure sequences. Where it's action, but it's more adventure. More of getting from point A to point B with action. But it's kind of adventure. You, you kind of off for the seek out of an adventure you go location to location where there's kind of a mystery to be had adventure to be had great characters like solo like indy like marion like you know brody or uh, marcus brody whatever it's just great and i could talk about this film all day but i'm not nine out of ten film fantastic well, why is it not a ten out of ten if i had to say a negative it's hard to really say a negative per se I guess there's just, like, a lot of villains, and I don't 100% know. Like, like that other guy, the guy in the white, the, the black suit. I'm not 100% clear what his motivations are, but, I, but that's just digging. That's just nitpicking, at the very least. Um, I remember watching this film as a, as a kid and, and be falling in love with all the aspects that make this film what it is. All the characters, the action, the adventure, the... The score is iconic. Everybody knows that. So, I mean, there's, 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 what, what more can I say? You know, stay tuned for our videos. Come right at you.